We trust them to teach our children not only reading, writing, and arithmetic, but also about our Catholic faith. They are teachers of excellence at our Catholic schools here in the Diocese of Springfield, and their sacrifice and dedication has not gone unnoticed. Reel to Reel's Carolee McGrath takes us out on the prize patrol and introduces us to this year's award winners. Good morning, everyone. How are you? You're doing well? Oh, it's good to see you. <gasps> Armed with balloons and flowers, Sister Andrea Suzuki, the superintendent of schools for the Diocese of Springfield, played the part that Ed McMahon made famous. She led the prize patrol tracking down the diocese's best teachers. We want to announce that your teacher has been selected, chosen, to be a 2012 recipient of the Pioneer Valley Excellence in Teaching Award. The first stop, Mrs. Diane Pronovost's first grade class at St. Thomas the Apostle School in West Springfield. Diane Pronovost has been teaching first grade for 23 years. I just love what I do and I just love coming to work every day, so this was totally unexpected. The awards, launched by the Harold Grinspoon Charitable Foundation in 2002, are given to outstanding teachers in Franklin, Hampshire, and Hamden counties. These teachers have been singled out, they've been nominated and then selected for these awards because they not only give the normal everyday teaching practicum, but they go beyond the call. They're involved in so many things within the school themselves. But we know that in our Catholic schools, the Catholic school teachers not only teach the rudiments of learning, but they also offer a great ministry. Diane, a mother and grandmother, is one of the six teachers in the diocese to be honored with the Pioneer Valley Teachers of Excellence Award. I look at the children where they need that guidance, and I'm that person for them right now this year. So it, it's just very fulfilling to know that I can have an influence on their life. Good to see you, Anne. How are you? Also on the prize patrol list is Ann O'Connor, who teaches 7th and 8th grade language arts and literature at Blessed Sacrament School in Holyoke. O'Connor, a member of Blessed Sacrament Parish and mom of three, has been teaching for 21 years. It's very exciting. I've been, uh, a couple of my friends have received the award, so I have had some experience in the past with what has gone on, but I just never expected it. Good morning. How are you? Can we interrupt your class? And With neither did Lise Latelier. Mrs. Latelier, you have been selected to be a recipient of the 2012 Pioneer Valley Excellence in Teaching Award. Latelier is the chair of the science department at Holyoke Catholic. I knew there was a nomination, didn't feel worthy of it, um, so I'm overwhelmed. We have a special surprise. Mrs. Tangway, we're so pleased that you're honored this year to be one of our teachers selected for the 2012 Excellence in Teaching Award. So can we clap for your teachers in this parade? Oh Angela Tangway is a preschool teacher at Holy Name of Jesus School in Chicopee. In fact, she helped start the pre-K program 21 years ago. It's a great honor. Um, I love teaching here, and obviously I've been here for a long time. Um, and I know that lots of other teachers are well deserving of this also. Cynthia Williams teaches languages at Cathedral High School, which is temporarily located at Memorial School in Wilbraham. She's been a teacher for 40 years. I remember I've told this story before, when I first came here right out of college, I thought, oh, I'll just stay for a couple of years, get some experience and move on to bigger and better things. And I very quickly discovered that this is where I wanted to be. And uh, my heart is here. And uh, the kids are what keep me coming back day after day after day. Sherry Kennedy teaches second grade at St. Stanislaus School in Chicopee. The mom has been teaching now for 18 years. I really enjoy being with the kids and being able to teach them new things every day um, and also learning from the children, new things from the children that they bring into the classroom. The teachers being recognized say one of the best parts of their job is the fact that they can share their Catholic faith and love of Christ with their students every single day and incorporate that into every lesson. Today we were talking about um, rainbows or something and we asked does anybody know how a rainbow is made and right away it was God you know they went right right to God he's the one that has done all this for us 
we can pray anytime we want. We can bring them to church. We can do prayer services. Uh, we do the rosary. Right now, I'm working with the 7th and 8th grade. We're preparing for the living stations, and they're so excited about it. And it's just a wonderful feeling to see them living their religion. And following the great examples of their dedicated Catholic teachers. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm Carolee McGrath. There you go. That's better. That helps. Now the teachers you've just met, each won a cash prize and scholarship to take a graduate course, among other gifts, and they will all be honored at an awards banquet at the Holyoke Log Cabin in May.